hey you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is liana and i'm back with another video so today's video is going to be on the latest drops from bath and body works let's go ahead and jump in i'm so excited i always get like so antsy like when I get new Bath and Body Works products, I don't know. Like, in the battle of Bath and Body Works versus Victoria's Secret, which team are you on? Are you team Bath and Body Works or are you team Victoria's Secret? Listen, I, if you want to know me, I love Bath and Body Works body mist. A lot of people say, like, Victoria's Secret's body mist are better, but I, I disagree. I just feel like Bath and Body Works has a lot more different fragrances um their fragrances are a lot funner i don't know they just have so many different things for so many people and it's always so fun trying their fragrances i feel like they're a little bit more out of the box when it comes to fragrances and i feel like they really can make some gems some staples i do love my victoria's secret fragrances but i just feel like there's something about bath and body works on the other hand victoria's secret i love their lotions <laughs> I love their lotions like i'm not a huge fan of body creams i love the little tubes that they're in but i just wish that bath and body works would just get rid of body creams and just start putting their lotions in the tubes like victoria's secret i just love the longevity of lotions um the body creams i feel like smell better at bath and body works but it's just the fact that they don't last long enough then you know that that's irritating if like after a year you got to throw your stuff away that you spent your money on it's annoying i also feel like victoria's secrets lotions are stronger to me than bath and body works so i really really i love their lotions i love their lotions love them a lot but on the body mist side i love bath and body works so i always get so excited whenever bath and body works comes out with something new because i love to smell body mist i love it but let's go ahead and jump into this video the first thing that i picked up is moonlit martini I love this bottle. I love this shade of teal. I love the fact that this is named after some liquor. Moonlit Martini. So the notes in this fragrance are vibrant fruit. What kind of fruit out of all of the fruit in the world? No one knows. But we'll, you know, we'll sniff it out and we'll try to figure it out. And then we've got sparkling gin. Midnight musk. I don't know what the difference between midnight musk and noon musk is. But apparently there's you're a different type of musky at midnight i don't know but let's go ahead and smell this you guys i'm super excited oh wait a minute i feel like i just drank some gin <laughs> okay um hmm i don't like it it's not really my type of fragrance i get the fruit and i see why they say it fruit i'm getting like a medley <laughs> it's like a medley in there it smells kind of like punch and then it's kind of like gin it's fruity it's starting to dry down. I feel like the dry down is better, of course, than the initial spray. It's becoming a bit smoother. I feel like it's more wearable now. The alcohol smell is settling down. It's settling down. It's a little better now. It's a little smoother. It's more so like a smooth, fruity liquor. I don't get an overload of musk. The fruit starts to come through more in the dry down. Still giving me a medley. And now instead of smelling more like fruit punch, it's kind of like a fruit punch mixture mixed with like the um, fruit cups. Those little fruit cups with the cherries in them. That mixture. It's a punch mixed with that. It's been a long time since I've smelled a fragrance. I'm just like, no. I give this a one, a t one out of ten. Maybe wear this during the fall. I don't know if it's like day or night. And I just don't feel like I like it. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Um, we'll move on. We'll move on. Okay. <laughs> They got me nervous now. Oh my God, why is the first thing I have to pick up be something I hate it? Okay, so we're moving on. The next fragrance is Copper Fields. The notes in this fragrance are Harvest Sun, Fresh Wildflowers, and Bronze Woods. What does the Harvest Sun smell like? What does the sun smell? I feel like the sun probably smells like ashes, at first of all. So maybe they mean that this is a warm fragrance. Ooh, that smell that smells good this to me smells like one of their pumpkin fragrances which is weird because there's no pumpkin note in this okay so now the florals are beginning to come out i won't be keeping this but i do think that it smells good i give this like a six out of ten it smells like pumpkin and flowers i don't really get a woody note from this but maybe in the dry down we'll you know if it dries down while i'm still smelling it we'll see but to me this smells like pumpkin and flowers it smells like a yellow flower and pumpkins and it is a warm fragrance i feel like this is great for the fall and winter so okay kudos to y'all for that okay it's great for the fall and winter i feel like you can get away with this day or night it smells more comfortable i don't know what it is about like a pumpkin scent that makes me feel just like comfortable laid back this is a nice smooth fragrance that pumpkin scent to me is kind of sweet in here. And then you get the florals on top of that. And I know there's no pumpkin in this fragrance. However, it smells like, it smells like 
pumpkin and flowers and I just find it to be very very pretty it's the sweetness to it and it's like it's not overdoing it I guess it's like a six six maybe seven I kind of want to keep this fragrance but I just kept another floral fragrance like another yellow floral fragrance and I just feel like I don't need both but if I had a choice I would want this one above the other but I pretty sure that it's probably too late to return the other one but I like this one a lot I definitely feel like this is something different it's warm it's sweet it's smooth I don't think a lot of people would like this one it's kind of different I feel like it might be a little bit more mature so I feel like this is a fragrance that you want to go in the store and smell but I like it it smells like perfume and it doesn't smell like cheap perfume either it smells really good it smells really good you guys i feel like y'all need to go smell this this is different unexpected and i like it that's why i like the bath and body works body mist because you just pick something up and it's just something completely different than what you thought it was going to be like they'll put some notes back in here you're like no bath and body works what are you what are you even talking about who decides on what these notes should be on the back of because they lie to me this smells like a sweet pumpkin mixed with a nice yellow floral fragrance and I love it there's something nice about this it's so interesting I don't feel like it's a fragrance that a lot of people would love I don't feel like if you spray this all over yourself a lot of people are gonna come to you and give you compliments and say you smell good but to me it just smells good and it's something so comforting about it I feel like it's, this is perfect for a nice fall day when you're bringing out your sweaters you're chilling on the couch taking a walk in the park or whatever this is just that type of fragrance and I like it I'm not gonna keep it just because I have other yellow fragrances now but I do like it very much it's not a pretty girl fragrance it's a nice calm fragrance but let's go ahead and move on you guys so next we've got Sunrise Woods Sunrise Woods has notes of first of all creamy sandalwood we know that I love sandalwood creamy sandalwood sweet berries and cozy cashmere just from the notes of those it's kind of giving me like twilight woods vibes is what the notes are sounding like it's creamy sandalwood sweet berries and cozy cashmere and I feel like it's probably gonna be like twilight woods vibes but let's smell it I do feel like this is very similar to twilight wood however I like twilight woods better also by the way twilight woods is a big compliment getter I am not in love with it, but literally anytime I wear that fragrance, just the body lotion and the body mist and I go somewhere, people are like, someone smells so good. You smell so good. People love that fragrance and I don't, I don't know why because I don't love it. I, I like it. Obviously, I kept it and I wear it, but I don't love it. I don't feel like it's that amazing for every time I go somewhere and I wear that, people to be like, you smell good. So, you're into compliments. That's but that's not what this is about I don't like this I don't like this at all uh this smells similar to, and it's crazy to me this smells similar to the amber fragrance from Victoria's Secret I can't remember the name of it I'll put it up here um their main amber fragrance although this is not an amber fragrance I guess the mixture of the sandalwood and the berries and the cashmere all together it's giving me amber vibes I don't like it and it's not that it smells bad it's just that I don't like it. It's like too much of something. First of all, the berries, number one, are probably getting on my nerves. I'm sick of berries. Berries don't go with everything. I just feel like this mixture didn't come together that well. It's too sweet. It's nauseatingly sweet. I think that it's like when sweet is mixed with stuff that is just like a little too creamy. I don't like it that much. So, um, yeah, I don't care for this fragrance. I don't feel like it smells bad again I don't feel like it's a bad fragrance I just don't like it I would give this fragrance like maybe a four or five out of ten now this started to dry down I'm getting a bit of pencil shaving vibes from it it's giving berries amber pencil shavings uh, that's what that smells like and it is smooth there's that I do feel like this is definitely a fall fragrance more so for night I would say it also kind of smells like cranberries and I just don't like this smelling this so I wonder if the berries in here are cranberries. Smelling this makes my stomach hurt. I'm not a fan of this one. Not a fan. I feel like other people will like this though. I feel like it is probably crowd pleasing. I feel like people would love to smell this on you. This also kind of smells like forever red to me. So I feel like definitely go smell it because you would probably like it. I just don't like it. It's one of those fragrances that I feel like is massively crowd pleasing. Just not to me y'all know how that goes like there's i'm sure there's like some fragrances that people are like oh my god it's amazing i love it, it smells so good and you just like i don't like it though but i don't like it but i do know enough about fragrances to know that it's a mass appealing fragrance people will like to smell this on you um 
I won't. I don't care for it. It smells like a body mist. It smells like a body mist. I'll be a good body mist. It smells perfect for the fall. I can see someone with like a sweater on wearing this chilling. It smells good. It's just not for me. Uh, so definitely go smell it. Check it out because you, odds are you probably like it. I just don't. But let's move on, you guys. The last two fragrances are vanilla fragrances. So I'm super excited. I don't know which one I want to start with first. These are the only two that I got the lotion for as well. So I did get the body cream along with the body mist for both of these. Because I know I love vanilla. So I'm like, if I love these, I want to make sure I have the body cream right here. If I hate them, we're just going to go ahead and take the whole set back. It's fine. It's no big deal. Was there anything I'm keeping? I'm not keeping anything so far okay let's keep it moving okay so first we're gonna try fresh vanilla blossoms just because i feel like i like the other vanilla better so we're gonna try to save the best for last so this is fresh vanilla blossoms i'm not a huge fan of the packaging it's very boring so the notes in this fragrance are suede petals soft sandalwood sandalwood we love sandalwood and vanilla bean y'all know again i love sandalwood and i love vanilla and i love that it's vanilla bean in here now let's <laughs> I don't know if I like this fragrance just because it's like the suede petals. Why did I put the flowers in there? I don't know, but let's smell it. Let's give this a try. A little sniff sniff. No. No. What? Um, I don't like whatever is going on in this cap. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a moment to dry down, but so far I'm not liking it. I wanna spray it on myself, but at the same time I feel like I just don't like it. So I don't want it on myself. Uh, so just smelling this off the cap. It is an odd fragrance. I do not like it. I feel like it smells trashy. There's like vanilla somewhere way down in there. This smells also like soap. <laughs> not like just any soap, but it's like when you go to a fast food restaurant, the soap that comes out of their dispensers is like that type of soap. Then I also feel like I get like old still cigarettes. The vanilla is there. This is nauseating to me. I can't stand the smell of it. I don't like this. I, mm, 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 mm. I, I get so disappointed. But I kind of just knew I wasn't going to like it because it was the florals mixed in. However, I didn't know that I would dislike it this much. How do you do vanilla wrong? This is awful. I'm just, this is awful. I don't like the smell of this. I don't want to smell this on anyone. If I smell this on anyone, I'm going to assume that you just came out of the restroom. <laughs> Um, out of a fast food restaurant and wash your hands and that you probably took a smoke break in the bathroom You know, you can't smell the cigarettes all the way, but you smell that staleness from it So, you know, like they had some cigarettes on their clothes or something at some point or like some secondhand smoke or something That is so odd to me. Oh my god, but the best part about it is that I'm gonna get my money back I never really feel too bad when I hate something just because I'm like I'm Gonna get my money back Okay, it's okay my goodness but I didn't like this one. Y'all feel so bad. I hate it when I make a video where I'm just like, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I feel that way just because I don't want you all to watch my video and just be like, oh my gosh, she's so negative. <laughs> because I care. But I don't like this stuff. I don't like this stuff. Um, and I also don't want you guys to feel like, oh my God, I love this and she doesn't like it. That just means that I don't like it. It doesn't mean that it doesn't smell bad. To me, this smells bad. It smells bad to me i don't like it <laughs> but i'm sure that there are a lot of fragrances that i have that i love that you guys don't like and i know this to be true because i've had people comment like i didn't like this this didn't work for me you know i understand because scent is very subjective and also you know you gotta think about your own body chemistry scent is just different for everyone everyone is going to process fragrances differently this i don't like it smells awful Timmy, and I'm sorry. I feel like whatever florals in here is super heavy. It's overwhelming. It is nauseating. The vanilla is there, but it just does not belong. And I feel like the weird mixture of the flowers and the vanilla is what's giving it that nasty soapy smell. And it's not like, of course, that soap is not nasty, but it's like, it's not great soap. It's that soap. And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. We're going to move on, you guys. I'm just so disappointed right now because, I mean, I left space in my collection so I can at least fit like one thing in. I'm so nervous, you guys, that I'm not going to like this last fragrance. So last and hopefully not least, we have again the bottle that I just don't like. This is Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. 
I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, and I'm looking at the notes and I'm like, I'm not gonna like this. And there's warm bourbon, vanilla liqueur, and the, the fragrance that I'm just the most nervous about, dark fruit. Because why? Cozy vanilla bourbon, would you put dark fruit in this? I need some understanding Bath and Body Works because I'm a little confused. Warm bourbon, vanilla liqueur, and dark fruit. I thought this was the fall drop and not the Halloween drop. I'm getting a little antsy. Oh my gosh. A fresh bottle too. Oh my goodness, y'all. My upper body strength is trash, okay? If I could take this top off with my legs. My goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't want to smell anything else that's sickening to me. <sighs> mm -mm. Hmm. Am I sick today? Now I'm like sitting here wondering is there something wrong with me. This does not smell bad. It smells better than the last thing. It's amazingly sweet. It smells like something I already had. Like not exactly but like it's, it's giving me like vibes of like a mix of like sweet whiskey and fireside flurries. I don't dislike this, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. Like if you like fireside flurries, I like fireside flurries, but honestly, it's I, I, it has to be winter. It got to be like winter for me to be in a mood to even smell that. I just feel like this is super sweet and this is just not Look at this. It's hot. It's 75 degrees currently. Uh, it's gonna be 90 probably in another hour or two. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to smell anything this sweet. So subjectively speaking, I feel like this is a great fragrance. Just not for today. So I like it. The more I smell it, the more I can kind of sit my stomach to the side and you know, get used to the sweet smell. So it's like, I like it. I like it, I do. And it's beginning to die down and it's not as sweet. The vanilla, the warm vanilla is coming through more so now. Oh, the dry down is very nice. Very nice. I want to spray this on myself because now I'm beginning to like it. In the dry down, it's beginning to smell less like fireside flurries and less like sweet whiskey. It's becoming its own little fragrance. But I feel like for this fragrance, you just kind of get got to get over the initial sweet smell. I like this one. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep it, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I like it. Like now, I can really get the vanilla coming through and I'm liking it a whole lot more. Yeah. I like it. It's like, it's definitely a vanilla liquor fragrance and... Yeah. On my skin, I like it even more. Like on the, in the cap, it's like amazingly sweet, but on my skin, I'm not getting really getting that super sweet smell from it. I'll keep this fragrance. Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. It's not amazing. It's not earth shattering, but I like it. To me, this smells like those little golden candies. Once the dry down hits, and even on my skin when I'm smelling this, like do y'all remember those little gold candies? I'm gonna put them on the screen just in case you guys don't remember. It's kind of the vibe that I'm getting on my skin. I like this on my skin. I like this. So we keep it. Of all these items, I found ones to keep. My goodness, I'm so happy. And I didn't get the lotion for this one. So I feel like the lotion is gonna really be bomb with a lot of fragrances. Let me try it out. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Y'all, <laughs> this is another thing that get on my nerves about Bath and Body Works and they lotion sometimes, their body creams and stuff. This doesn't smell like the body mist. It smells weird, it's kind of giving like Play-Doh vibes. The lotion's going back, oh my God. So, we'll just be keeping that body mist. I don't care for the lotion. It's not awful, it's just not great. <laughs> so I don't, I don't care for the lotion. We'll be taking the lotion back. It's fine. I did find one thing from the collection to keep. We will be keeping cozy vanilla bourbon. And again, it's not earth shattering, but it's nice. I would give it this fragrance like five and a half, six out of ten. And I know that sounds kind of low to say that I'm keeping it, but I feel like it's interesting. And I feel like after a while, after I wear it some more, once winter hits, I think I'll like it more. But for now, it's like a five and a half, six type of fragrance. But I'm keeping it, uh, I think. Maybe not. Now that I've sprayed it all over myself, I'm like, hmm, 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 hmm. It's not even amazingly sweet. Like in the cap, the first spray was so sweet and it was giving me Fireside Flurries vibes. Super sweet, mixed with a sweet whiskey. 
Oh, my body is not sweet to me. I don't know. It's like there's something about it that like once I really sniff, I'm like, hmm. There's something about it that's kind of pleasing to me. And I assume that it's the bourbon in it. And I don't know. I feel like also maybe this will be a good layering perfume for the fall winter. I like it. It's just something about it. Again, I guess it's cozy vanilla bourbon. And then there's something when I sniff it, I just feel calm and I like it. I'm gonna keep this one. It's not amazing, it's not earth shattering, but I definitely recommend that you go out and smell it, spread it in yourself and see how you like it. Because there's just something interesting about it and there's something special about it that I don't get from any other fragrance that I have or have had. And so I have to keep it. I have to know more about this. And it's like the more I wear it and I'm smelling it in the more air, the more I like it. And I feel like this fragrance would be so good for layering. It's just something special about it. this is a very special vanilla and i like it i'm giving it like a six six and a half but anywho you guys that is the end of the video if you all have smelled any of these fragrances let me know what your thoughts are on them if you all are interested in getting any of them definitely put down in the comment section which one you guys are interested in getting or going to the store and smelling i would love to know your thoughts you guys i hope that you all stick around and watch more there should be something here or here and until next time you guys bye